Today's RV gadget is the Ugreen Power Roam GS1200 Portable Power Station. Now, some folks call these solar generators, but they're really not a generator. What essentially they are is a battery and a way to use it. The Power Roam GS1200 is a portable power station that features a high quality lithium iron phosphate or Life PO4 battery, which means you can get about 3,000 full charge cycles from. Them. That means completely charged up to completely dead. So if you did that every single day, that's about eight years of use. But more likely, you're not going to fully charge and discharge the battery every day. So that's at least a decade of use, which is pretty good. Uh, the unit weighs about 26 pounds, and on board are 13 ports in total, including six household outlets two USB-A outlets, two USB-C outlets, and a charge port, or what I like to call a cigarette lighter adapter. In total, this has about a thousand watt hours of power, which means you can run something that consumes a thousand watts for about an hour, more or less. Chances are this will last much, much longer than an hour as we have been able to determine. So what are some of the great features about this unit? First, when you do discharge it, uh, it has fast household wall charging. So you plug it into a household wall outlet and it has very high performance charging system. Uh, I was able to recharge this unit in about an hour from about 20% state of charge so it was down to 22 percent and took just over an hour to recharge that's pretty good there's a feature on here called u turbo that allows for up to 2500 watts output for peak periods of time and we'll get into that in a minute but perhaps one of my favorite features the connectors on this are all standard connectors so Unlike some of these uh, solar generators or portable power stations that use proprietary connectors, meaning you have to buy theirs, uh, this uses just off-the-shelf standard connectors, but all the components, uh, the wires, all of the things that come with the Ugreen uh, GS1200, I think are very good quality. The cables, the connectors, all of that are high quality parts. So uh, what operating modes do you get? This has a standard mode, which basically runs the outlets until it doesn't see power and it may shut off. Power saving mode, which optimizes performance to reduce power consumption. But my favorite is what's called always on mode. So this is not something that's typical, but what it is is uh, if you have devices that turn themselves on and off, for example, our Dometic 12 volt refrigerator. It can go into power standby and some solar generators will go, oh, well, uh, it doesn't need any power and it'll just shut off. So that means it'll never come back on again. Um, there are pet monitors and other devices that can go into a standby mode and the solar generator would think that it's off and doesn't need to provide power. Well, this always on mode means that that plug stays hot so when the device that cycles comes back on, it comes back on. And to me, that is a, a big advantage of this device. There are three power delivery modes on this. One of those is a quiet mode. So this would be great, for example, if you have a CPAP machine and you don't want to hear this thing running, quiet mode. Uh, also, let's say you're shooting video, kind of like what I'm doing now. Uh, quiet mode means you don't hear this thing runny. Uh, there is a battery preservation mode, which optimizes the device to save battery life. But then there's also U-Turbo mode, and that allows up to 2,500 watts of power delivery 
for periods of time. Now, why would you want that? Uh, let's say you have a device that has an electric motor. Electric motors, like some sleepy folks, need a kick in the pants to get started. And so some of these uh, pow portable power stations cannot deliver that. This one can. Um, we used this on a picnic, and I used it where I ran a uh, induction cooktop and my portable 12 volt refrigerator at the same time and the Ugreen portable power station had zero issues with that just deliver the power so it's a feature that you may not need all the time but boy when you need it it works great as for inputs uh, there are a number of inputs on the side standard household 12 volts so you could plug it into the cigarette lighter in your vehicle or um you can also plug it into portable uh, solar panels, which we did. Uh, Ugreen sent us this device to review, and also they sent us their 200-watt folding portable solar panels. So they're a flexible panel, uh, four segments, and they fold up nicely. You carry them around, but then they have a connector you put them on, and the Ugreen portable power station will accept up to 400 watts of input, which means two of their 200 watt panel packages. We discharged the Ugreen almost completely. Uh, I put it out in the morning, connected to two of their solar panels, and by about lunchtime, it was completely recharged. So I was surprised at how quickly this recharged again. It has a fast charge mode and it, boy, it really works well. So um, compared to other solar generators that we have, this charges much more quickly. Um, you can also, if it's important to you to have grounded outlets, um, most of these solar generators have the three prong outlets, the grounded power outlets, but that third post, the grounding post, is just to accommodate the plug. It doesn't actually do anything. It's just there so you can plug in grounded outlets. That's not true here. You can actually ground this portable power station. So if that's something that you need, it's unusual and it is featured here. As mentioned, it can go up to 2,500 watt output for periods of time, which Ugreen calls U Turbo Tech. Uh, and again, that's great, like for electric motors, or we ran the induction cooktop, and that cycles on and off. So things like that, it it can handle, which is again unusual. Um, another unusual feature. This supports something called UPS mode, uh, uninterruptible power supply. So let's say you live, gosh, we lived in Northern California where the power would go out. This can work as a UPS or uninterruptible power supply. So you plug in, let's say your computer and phone and all of that stuff, and then plug the Ugreen portable power station into the wall and if the wall power goes out, like let's say there's a blackout or whatever, no worries. The Ugreen will continue to deliver power until the battery is depleted, of course. Uh, but it's great if you work in places where the power can be sketchy. Or let's say you want to run something overnight and the power might go out. Well, there you go. You can use this as your an interruptible power supply. So nice feature also that is not an, that is not typical. And lastly, a five year warranty. So that's good too. Uh, as mentioned, we also got two of their 200 watt portable solar panels and they have a single standard connector on the back. So you can plug in the Ugreen portable power station. One of the things that's unusual about their solar panels is they have like a little bullseye on the front. And like all solar panels, these work best when they're pointed directly at the sun. And this bullseye you use to kind of help you aim the solar panels to get the best performance, which I like. Um, there are also sort of legs that 
pop out of the back of these so they can sit at an angle. That's pretty cool too. So uh, again, they've done a good job. They come with nice long connectors of very high quality cable and uh, standard connectors. So a real plus. Um, I put the Ugreen portable power station out on a relatively cloudy day. And again, even with not a great amount of sun, it took about half a day to recharge the Ugreen portable power station. So cool. Um, so why would you want a solar generator? What in the wide, wide world of sports would make this something you would want? Well, if you live in a place where the power tends to go out, these are great. Uh, if you are an RVer, as we are, uh, you could use these with a pet monitor. Or let's say you like boondocking and you have something like Starlink or some other device that needs household power. You could use it for that. We actually have been using this to power our picnic. So I'll put our Dometic 12 volt cooler in the back of the truck and an induction, portable induction cooktop. And we can actually power these right on the picnic table. And even in places where it can be dry and they don't want you to have fires or anything like that, no worries. You are just using electricity, no fire, none of that. Um, if you, let's say you have noisy digital toys on the road, like phones or tablets or confusers or drones or any of those kind of things, uh, these are great for powering those. And uh, again, at, at, you could use this as an UPS, uninterruptible power supply. So if you live where the power can be sketchy, well, no worries, you could use this. So what are the downsides of this? Uh, the only one I found that bugged me was it. there is an app that connects to this, which I really like, but when you get out of range or if it disconnects for whatever reason, you have to reconnect as a new device. And that's fiddly and annoying, quite honestly. Uh, but the app itself is really good. It allows you to select the various power modes, shows state of charge. Uh, you can turn various outlets on this on and off. You can also, there's a light built onto it. You can use the app to turn the light on, off, dim it, flash it, that kind of thing. So the app is useful. It's just fiddly and that it kept disconnecting and that was annoying. But yeah, nothing's perfect, right? Uh, lastly, you might say, well, I've, you know, who is this company? And I've heard of the Jackery and we have two Jackery solar generators or portable power stations, one of which we got to review them several years ago. And the other one I won in a raffle. So can't beat that, right? That's the best price of all. Well, anyway, how does this compare with our Jackery 1500s? Well, the battery chemistry in the Jackery really only allows for about 500 or so total complete charge discharge cycles before it degrades significantly. So that makes the Ugreen six times better. It's just a better, the Ugreen has a better battery chemistry than the Jackery by far. Uh, I am not fond of the battery chemistry in the Jackery. Works great when it works, but it's not going to last you as long. The Jackery takes significantly longer to charge. Now it is, ours is a larger unit than this um, in terms of battery capacity, but does not have a high performance charge feature. So I have had to leave the Jackery connected to all four of their 100 watt solar panels for an entire day to really get it to fully recharge. Whereas as mentioned, the Ugreen about half a day. So the fast charging really is beneficial. Do note that the Jackery that we have is about a third larger in capacity than the Ugreen. However, the Ugreen has the U-Turbo output. So actually, the Ugreen can serve in more places and power more devices than the Jackery 1500 
Although, again, the Jackery has more power reserves. So biggest thing I like about the Ugreen over the Jackery is that the Ugreen has standard connectors. Uh, the Jackery uses proprietary connectors, and I don't like that simply because if you break a cable or you lose something or any of that, you are stuck buying replacements on Jackery. It's kind of like buying an Apple product, right? And surprise, surprise, Jackery was created by a former Apple team member. Now, I like Apple products a lot, but proprietary connector is not my favorite thing. So overall, I would, if, you know, given the need to go buy a portable power station, yeah, I'd, I'd pick the Ugreen GP1200 over the, even over the Jackery 1500. I just think the non proprietary cables, the fast charging, the app, the number of connections and functions that are built into this Ugreen head and shoulders over the Jackery. And so there you go. So what uses do you have for a portable power station? You can always weigh in at our home on the web at stresslesscamping.com where you'll find stories, articles, deals, discounts, hints, and hacks. Uh, we also have a Facebook group and all of that. So stay in touch and let me know what do you think of this Ugreen 1200? Is something that would be useful for you? Thank you very much. Oh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, all the usual YouTube housekeeping stuff. And thank you for your time today. Hopefully this provided some information for you. Happy camping!